The time has come for us to do our first engraving with this fiber laser, so let's get started. To start off, we are going to engrave on one of these thin metal business cards. I'll leave a link to these that I'm using down in the description below, but this is just something very thin. So let's see what we can do with it as is kind of out of the box, the settings that came with Lightburn. So we have some first try text here that we have just typed um, here in Lightburn. And you'll notice over here in the layers uh, panel here, the cuts and layers, um, you can choose whether you want this for a line or a fill. We are going to do it as fill. Now I've not changed any power settings whatsoever. Um, it was set on 100 millimeters per second, 20% power and frequency of 20. Now this is a 20 watt fiber, so um, I'm just, this is the way that these settings were in light burn from our install. I'm just gonna run it like this and we're gonna see what happens. So you'll notice that if I click on frame, we can actually see over here on our bed where it is framing. Now all we're gonna do is just move that business card right in place where it was framing it. And it's kind of hard to see on this black card but you can see where it's at. So yeah, now we have the business card in place where the uh, text was. There is an autofocus button here on the front of it. So go ahead and press the autofocus. You'll notice the lens starts moving here and then it gives you a beep once it is focused. Over here on the live framing button, we can actually start the laser just by pressing start right here. And now you can see it is running. This is real time. Uh, I'm not going to speed this up whatsoever. So it is engraving. I can see it's engraving right now with those settings with no problem. So yeah, it's going pretty quick. It's almost finished and we'll wait for it to finish and then open the door. So that's it. That is already finished and you probably couldn't even hear it, but the fan had kicked on and was running. So yeah, so now let's open this up. And there you have it. That was the settings straight from Lightburn uh, with no change to them whatsoever. And it did a good job on this card. So I'm sure we can uh, play around with that to get a different look, maybe something brighter or darker or whatever. But yeah, for a very first try on this card, I think that turned out amazing. Okay, so we've typed some smaller text, second try. And now we've opened up our little settings editor here and I've changed this so we left it at 100 millimeters per second but increased to 40% power. Uh, the frequency is still at 20 um, kilohertz here. So there's these other settings that you can do as far as you know the line interval, the lines per inch. Um, I have not changed any of those at this point. That's something I'll dive into later, but for this one, all I'm doing is just changing the power up here. So we'll leave that at 40% and we have framed this now, making sure that it is going to fit on our card. And now let's just start it. And it's finished. That was real time. And so that was pretty fast. So looking at this here, I honestly can't tell any difference uh, between that 20% power and 40% power. So yeah, as far as that, I don't think there's much difference at all. So for our first attempt at this uh, fiber laser, I think it went well. We made two engravings here, um, uh, pretty much right after we got it set up. I know you've probably seen the other two videos already. This was all filmed on the day that we unboxed it. Um, we just uh, finally got our first engraving done here on it. And now we're gonna be trying some other stuff and I'll be sure in the next uh, few days as I'm trying stuff, shoot some videos. That way you can see the different materials that we use and the different results that we get. But for something like these business cards, I think this went very quick, very easy. And it just looked good right out of the box. No problem whatsoever with the settings. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more about this Thunder Aurora 8. I also want to say thanks to Thunder for sending this machine. That way I could learn how to use it and share what I learned with you. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.